The Humanities and Languages faculty brings together so many different disciplines about how people interact with the world, how we can speak different languages to people to be able to communicate our thoughts and feelings. I love geography as a subject because it can take you to all different places around the world. Um, and geography is beautiful because it's where the physical and the human uh, meet. So you might have, for example, a huge volcano somewhere in the world, like the Philippines. It erupts and it's the way that people and as humans we have to deal with the physical world. So the reason I love geography is um, I love going outside, I love kind of learning about the real world, kind of see how it, the physical and the human world interacts. I love seeing why certain countries act in the way that they do and I always want to improve my knowledge of the world. I'd say geography and philosophy at South Wirral. Uh, the main reason I chose to stay here rather than go to a different school was because I felt like I knew the teachers I already had like the connect, like the relationships built up, which is so uh, yeah, it's, like beneficial is the word I think I'm looking for for like for your studies. How do you think that geography helps show leadership, Steve? Well, with the geography course, we do coursework. Oh, you have to go out into Liverpool for two days, and you need to be meeting people like such as stakeholders within the city itself, like the leadership in organising stuff like that and going out with your separate little group you take, meeting people, making sure you've got all the data you need in order for your coursework to be done, which also then leads into the organisation side of it, keeping on top of it all. So that leadership which geography has helped me to develop has also been key to helping me develop my organisation skills as well. We have a good opportunity for independent learning and because the pupils are so kind of working on their own and it's it's their own kind of work and their own ownership of what they have to do. They have to show the the leadership to be able to take it seriously, the leadership to to go through the field work, to do it properly, to get the results so that they can answer that paper free in real detail. If they don't show those leadership skills then they're really going to struggle towards the end of those two years. Doing the physical part of geography I found it interesting actually like going out myself not being in a classroom and studying the actual like the tectonic serve and like the divergent plate boundaries I found it more interesting like actually being doing something more hands-on and being able to see it for myself. Uh, so we've had three international experiences whilst I've been here at the South Royal High School we've had Iceland trip where we got to see the Blue Lagoon so we kind of stayed in thermal, um, thermal baths but we drove past like volcanoes that have gone off previously we've also been to Italy where we climbed Mount Vesuvius, uh, we went to the ancient city of Pompeii and the one we've got coming up booked in is for California where we're going to go see the San Andreas Fault, we're going to go and see the Grand Canyon, we're going to go to Las Vegas. Um, when, like, when we went to Italy we walked up Mount Vesuvius so it showed me resilience and leadership because we helped the younger years getting up the mountain and when we got to the top we were able to see the geography that we were learning about. At the beginning of year 13 I became the faculty leader for the humanities department. This has been really important to me because I've been able to share what I learned over GCSE and what I learned over A level uh, with younger students and the likes of year 12s. I also managed to go and take part in the Auschwitz trip, the lessons from Auschwitz trip. Um, last month um, and that opened my eyes and gave me a whole new perspective um, and it also helped grow my character. I teach history because I loved studying history. I went from right, right from when I was a, a, a student at primary school all the way through. I've always loved history and I firmly believe that it's, uh, it develops our understanding of how we as a civilization, as humans, have got to where we are. I think that if we uh, use history as a basis to understand uh, humanities failings and successes and then we can figure out where we're going and that's why history is so important. Why do I love history? Um, I think I love history because of what opportunities it gives to you. Um, it opens doors to the past but it also opens doors to the future and we learn from history. It shapes our vision with what we're about to do. Why you should take history, I guess, mainly is because it gives you an awareness of the wider world that most students wouldn't have. You'll find yourself in a position after taking history where you know more about the world than people who don't. Um, but you also learn how to write analytically um, with extended writing. Uh, you'll find that if 
your writing history improves, so does your writing in other areas like English for example. Um, but I think you should take history if, if it's something that you're passionate about, if you, you know it's difficult but you couldn't imagine um, your timetable without history being on it. Um, and I, you probably already know if that's you. Um, it's a lot of work but it's respected as a GCSE um, and it's something that can give you resilience going into the future because of the amount of work that's involved in it and the amount of time it takes to get good. But you do find if you enjoy it, um, the work is not as bad as you think. In terms of applying history to our Loric principles, with leadership in history you are asked to lead a discussion, lead a debate, you're also asked to perhaps stand up and deliver a presentation about something that you have done. Organisation. Organisation is incredibly important with history. You have to organise yourself to be able to write essays, to be um, working towards deadlines. Having to write essays or plan essays or mark essays, in my case, there's a lot of written work, there's a lot of extended writing in history to therefore being organised is key. So this encourages you to, to really appreciate the underrated skill, which is organisation. Uh, resilience, it certainly makes you become a much more resilient character mainly because of the experiences that you can um, share with one another. So resilience is really crucial, particularly um, when we hit exam periods and coursework deadlines in sixth form and so on. Initiative, because you've got to debate things, you've got to think about your own arguments. You know, we might sort of throw in something about looking at Adolf Hitler and it might be a case of, was he a good leader for Germany? And we have to sort of discuss that and you are showing your initiative to go away and try and find things out about the positives about people like him. Um, in terms of your character, it also really, really brings out your character because you will debate things within history. Um, you look at a wide range of cultures, of diverse things that are going on in societies in the past and also now. Elements of history can be upsetting, it can be morbid, it can be gruesome uh, and, and we, we have to face these uh, elements of history, we have to look and confront them otherwise we don't learn and so therefore that builds character. Um, and I think what I love most about history is that it keeps the joy of discovery when you're a child, when you're young. Discovery is amazing, you're, just, you're learning new things every day. With a subject like history, that joy of discovery, of, of the happiness of learning new things, is a day-to-day, -day, uh, ongoing, um, ongoing part of your life. So that is why I teach history and why I love history and why you should study history. I took history because it can give me the opportunities that no other subject can. Even though I don't plan on going to university, it's still given me a wide range of opportunities that I could go into career-wise. I think history gives us a greater appreciation of um, the importance of research, of the importance of um, of seeking truth. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of um, there's a lot of avenues you can explore with history. Uh, there's a lot of careers you can take with history. You can go into what I'm doing, which is education. Um, you can go into journalism. You can go into law. Um, with 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 a, with a history or a great history degree, you can go into law. So there's loads of lots of different avenues you can go to. I teach um, history and RE, and I really love both of my subjects because both of my subjects are about people, and I like working with people and thinking about people and how we react and relate to people. And I think, particularly in RE, we get an opportunity to think about what people believe and what people think are important in their lives. Students do get a chance to explore some. Uh, a little bit of philosophy but also some ethical issues, um, thinking around uh, the matters of life, you know, when does life begin and how do we treat one another and um, what's important about things like that. We also look about crime and punishment, um, how we look after people, how we punish people. Um, okay, so why do I love Ari? Um, not particularly because it's about God or faith. I don't actually talk about my faith in God very often. Uh, what's most interesting is um, how people live their lives because of their religion and their faith and this year I've really really enjoyed teaching Judaism to year 8 and to year 10 and 11. Um, I also really love teaching philosophy and ethics. The discussions that we have um, in our lessons are just amazing. Resilience with philosophy has been, philosophy has probably been the biggest thing that has helped develop my resilience because at the start of the year I was really struggling with the workload and 
whatnot, because it is a huge step up A level from GCSE. And also, now I've actually got into philosophy, it's turned into something really enjoyable. Not only just for like the actual work itself, but helping me to develop other skills, such as like my critical analysis, my debating, it's apt to being able to put an argument forward, defend my point of view, but also at the same time see where someone else is coming from and form my own opinions on the world and my own beliefs rather than just going off what someone's told me. What I think is the most important thing is it promotes a respect for a multicultural society that we live in. Strife often comes from ignorance and I don't want any student in this school to leave an ignorant person. I think RE and history are really important subjects when they're talking about people and how we relate to one another. Um, one of the key skills that we're very um, involved with is, is thinking about empathy and how we um, think about what other people might be experiencing. I think that really helps to think about our own characters, what we think is important in our life, um, what we think um, we should do in terms of our relationships, what responsibilities we have. Uh, guten Tag, ich heiße Herr Jones und ich unterrichte Deutsch seit 22 Jahren an der uh, South Wales High School. Deutsch lernen hat es mir ermöglicht, uh, Leute aus anderen Ländern kennenzulernen und andere Kulturen zu erleben. Wenn man eine Fremdsprache lernt, muss man lernen, unabhängig zu arbeiten, zum Beispiel wenn man Vokabel lernt. Uh, man muss sich gut organisieren können, wenn man vier Prüfungen bestehen muss muss man genau wissen, was man lernen sollte. Man muss auch weitermachen können. Wenn man Fehler macht, sollte man aus ihnen lernen. I chose German not only for GCSE but for A-Level because I think learning a language helps widen your knowledge of the world outside of school. For German you have to be resilient as learning a new language is difficult but respected by many universities and like places in the future. Organisation is key too because different topics require different knowledge, such as political issues in Germany, it can get complicated. However, even though it's hard work, the outcome is rewarding, especially when you can speak German sentences without even looking at your own book. Humanities in general, I just find it really interesting how like factors in history and in geography affect like the world we are in and like the people, like certain things in history and certain things that have happened in geography say whether it's like a world disaster how it interlinks with like society and like the people that, that, that it happens to in that time. It's humanity and humanity subjects give you all the experience and knowledge that you need to go on in any sort of career you plan to.